We're going to make things a little bit more technical now and move into basic biomechanics. And this means we're going to analyze what muscles and what kind of things are happening in your body when you do the pull up. The primary muscle groups for this type of exercise, a upper body pulling exercise, is going to be what you call your lats, your latimus dorsi, which if we were to turn around are going to be these big muscles along our back and they essentially create our wings of our back. So uh, it's going to start up from the elbow here and they run all the way down across the side and towards the bottom of your spine. The second primary muscle that is used is also your bicep. So your bicep is on the front here of your arm and as the name suggests it is bi which means that there are actually two muscles in here. Your uh, short head and it's called the short head of the bicep and your long head of the bicep. With this particular pulling action the one that you're going to be using is the long head of the bicep. So the long head and the lats is what's going to create the maximum amount of pulling when you do the pull up. A good way of thinking about engaging the lats and letting the lats do the work is by thinking about when you're on the bar, instead of thinking about trying to use your bicep and what a lot of people do is think that they are pulling here, what you really want to do is think about your elbow pulling down to your side instead. So you're doing this action rather than here to here. So instead of this, you're doing this, okay? And the idea is that you can actually move your arm quite far down without having to bend too much of the arm, okay? So there's quite a lot of pull happening with the lats. Now, the reason that we use the lats is because they are the biggest muscle that we can use to engage and do that pull. The bicep is also going to have to do work because essentially to do this action of your arm, the bicep has to pull and contract to bring your arm in. So this is also going to be used, but the major part of bringing your body up is going to be this huge muscle down the back that is going to do all of the pulling and then it is going to be up to the bicep to do the rest of it. So these are the primary muscles. There are also what we like to call antagonists. So the antagonist muscles are the ones that are going to be working in the opposite way. So when we use our lats, actually what is also happening is our pecs. So our chest here is also going to be using uh, in the opposite way. It's going to be used in the opposite way. And you're going to feel that a lot more when you are coming back down in the opposite direction. And the, the pec is going to slow your descent, okay? So the pec is what we call the antagonist and it is the opposite, uh, the opposite muscle group to the lats and the bicep. So the third part that I'd like to cover is what we call the torque and T-O-R-Q-U-E. So the torque is tension essentially. And the way that you want to think about this is in which direction is all of the tension. Now, an analogy that is pretty good to make you remember this is if you were to push out in a punch, when you push out, you are going to internally rotate your punch. So when you see fighters, you're going to see that they're going to internally rotate and the tension in their shoulder is internally rotated, okay? And they're going out. When they pull back, what's happening is there is external rotation. So you're externally rotating outwards as you come back. So internally rotated forwards. When, so when you're doing a push-up, you are pushing in and externally when you pull out. Now, when that translates onto the bar, what that means is that when you are pulling, you want to think about externally rotating out. So your elbows are going to start coming in and you're going to externally pull outwards. So imagine that you're bending the bar in half outwards. 
what you don't want to do is pull and come inwards and this is the internal rotation when you're doing the pull up you want to do external and you're going to bring that elbow in and using the lats and the bicep you're going to be pulling and externally rotating obviously your hands are not going to be able to do this they're not going to be able to twist because the bar is uh, solid but you're going to feel that the tension is outwards so we've looked at the correct muscles being used, the lats and the bicep. We've looked at the antagonists, the, the pecs that are being used for the opposite direction. We've got the torque down. So in essence, it is externally rotated in the shoulder. So you are going to find that you are tensing outwards, bringing those elbows in as you pull. And fourth, what we're going to have a look at is the stabilizer muscles. Now, these are going to be the ones that are doing work in other places. And primarily for this, we are looking at the abdominals. So the abdominals are right here. And what's going to happen is they are going to stabilize your body. So when you're doing the pull, you don't want your bottom half to be just moving around. What you need to be able to do is put your body in the correct position. So we've already talked about the dish shape position and you're going to have to contract your abs to do that. OK, it also allows you control over your spine, especially your lower spine, your thoracic. So rather than it moving in weird positions and potentially causing you harm, you want to contract those abs, make sure everything is stable. You have control over your body and it is aligning your hips. So the stabilizer muscles are right here. The last point I'd like to cover is breathing. Now it's something that is often forgotten about when we are doing exercise, but the breathing part is very important. So when you're doing a pull, what you want to do is have a think about holding your breath. Now, when you're doing the pull, what's going to happen is to support the abs to stabilize your spine, holding your breath is going to expand your lungs. So you're filling your lungs up with oxygen, you're holding it, and that expansion in your body is called interabdominal pressure. And what's going to happen is it's going to apply pressure internally, which is going to help stabilize your spine even more. You can see this most when you see weightlifters squatting or deadlifting. You will see them holding their breath when they are trying to exert energy. And what's going on is they're trying to stabilize their spine and they're creating that interabdominal pressure, pushing outwards to keep that spine straight and reinforcing everything with the abs. So as you're exerting, your energy to pull up, you hold your breath. When you get to the top, you can breathe out and then you come back down again. So we've now got four things, five things to think about extra when we are doing our pull-ups. We can start getting a little bit more technical with how we do the pull-up. We've got to start thinking about our primary muscle groups. So we're not just doing all the work on the biceps, we're doing most of the work on the lats. The biceps are also going to be used and primarily you're going to be using the long head of your bicep so the outside part of your bicep is the one that is going to be used as well as the lats on the way down the antagonist muscle the pec is going to be used as you slowly come back down thirdly the torque externally rotated so you're going to be really tensing outwards Fourth, you're going to be thinking about the stabilizer muscles, your abs. You're going to make sure that your hips are aligned. You've got control of your body. Everything is not just loose and not doing anything. You've really got to contract, get those abs involved. Lastly, breathing. You're going to hold your breath as you pull up, create that interabdominal pressure. Breathe out at the top. As you come back down, you can breathe in again and you repeat the process. So here you can see that the big green uh, marked muscle groups is your lats at the bottom. This is how big that muscle is and it stretches all the way from the mid back and the lower back all the way around your side up to under the shoulder and connecting and it will connect all the way up to your elbow. You can also see that the bicep is highlighted here 
and the bicep is going to be the long head of the bicep, the uh, outer one, and this is going to be uh, also helping. Around the front in blue you can see here these are the abdominals and the obliques, so the side muscles. These are going to be used for stabilizing when you do the pull as well.